and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. I like to call it See Us Break Into a Box. And that was so bad, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, it seemed like you almost had something there. Almost. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Mother's Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. Or see me cube this box in the face! Wow. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four, plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points, times two for the energy, and your final score is 12. As per always, it is now time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh yeah, let's see what is going to be our type advantage today. Only the wheel will tell. And it's Dark Type! Dark Type! That actually works out with our randomly chosen common chase cards, or at least one of them, which today are Trubbish, Knackley, and Min Chow. Okay, so we're going to be on the lookout for those Trubbishes. Yeah, those are going to be a little bit tricky. And speaking of being on the lookout, let's change the skateboard! Oh man. We could use Omri on this time. Oh! That's cool. Umbreon is definitely the coolest design one. It's not as, I mean, Vaporeon, I'm a long time Vaporeon stan, but you know, Umbreon, very close second. Can we call it Umbreon of Tarth? Umbreon of Tarth, yeah, I, we can and should. Okay, from yeah, now on, as per always and for henceforth. As for always, that's a great way to phrase it. Thanks, I couldn't thanks. have said it any better myself. Ha, excellent. I would never put those words together in that order in my life. <laughs> All right, anyway, speaking of putting things in order, let's put some cards in order and some people in order on the scoreboard. Are you ready, Ben? I am ready. Well, today's first contestant is a crowd favorite. It's Brooke. Brooke! Like the babbling kind. Oh, yeah. okay, I like it, I like it. How's Brooke doing coming into the day? Brooke comes into the day with 10 points on the season. All right, Brooke, let's see what we can do for you. Brooke, of course, is the one known for pulling that, uh, was it like Lugia? The Alt Art Lugia, yeah. way back in season three. And she's pulled pretty high numbers fairly consistently always getting at least eight points but that, that the lowest points she's ever gotten is eight and that was in a single pack season wow so, so and right out of the gate oh actually she has a knack but it's the wrong the one. the wrong knack wow. okay how about that we got the parasol lady the porygon 2 the octillery the counter catcher the absol oh, that's score good save the masquerade the correct knack the correct knack but misses out on a uh, a critical hit there so yep. we'll have that the deoxys will, will score, score as well and the aegis slash will score as well there we go that's four points on the day for brooke bringing her total to 14 points very impressive for brooke there you go. Enjoy that age of slash. Bam. All right. Let's see. Next up, we have got zero for twelve, who is coming into the day with five points on the season, and hoping to improve upon that. Oh man, if I can get their pack open at all, don't mind me fumbling. All right. Boom. Type advantage? Don't think ah, so. Not, not today, today. Zero for twelve. We've got the Remore, the Pumpkin the Moon, Zubat the Zoo Battle Score, yeah. the Gumi, Gimme Ghoul, Tatsugiri, Earthen Vessel, Medical Energy, Blip Bug. Oh! Ooh. Look at that Blitzel and the Ting Lu. So the Ting Lu will score, but the Blitzel is the one we're going to want to take a look at there. That is some amazing looking little artwork we got. That is really cool. There's a really tiny one right there in the back. He's staring I, like, at I would it. just like to go and stand in this forest. I know. Where is this? Do. So number 195 on the set. It's actually our second one that we've pulled so far this season. Oh. $3.17. We'll round up to four. So four, five, six points on the six pack. Six points. For zero for 12. Good showing, good showing. There we to go. get things going, bring it up to 11 on the season. Fantastic zero for 12. All right, already, so I'm feeling it's a good box. It feels like a good box. Yeah, some, good good omens, some good omens. Next up, we've got Maddie. All right. Coming into the day with four points themselves. 
And give him that classic Ben magic here. Yeah, let's see, let's that see. That third pack magic, as they the say. Third pack magic. Well known, well known pack number. Highly documented. There we go. We got the the, the lightning bolt of energy right out of the front. The boon sweet, the Phoebus. Okay, we're still we're rolling. Okay. The Apom. Oh, we thought we lost signal there for a second. The Pan Sage. The, the Slitherwing. Slitherwing. What a lame name. It Technical really Machine, the great. Evolution, Exploud. The Seedra will not score. The, the Zubat, Zubat will. will score. And the Iron, Iron Moth. Moth. Look at this, man. They gave, they gave, uh, what's that about? Volcarona, a ancient form and a future form. And I think they're both lame. Iron Moth and Slitherwing. <laughs> don't like either of them. So Maddie, Maddie just pulling out two points on two the Two points there. Today. Okay, okay. Sorry well, about that. So six points total on the season. Well done to Maddie. Cards headed your ah. way. Thanks as always for playing. Yeah, yeah. Next up, we've got Embug. Embug. Embug has Bug. nine points on the season, so starting for a pretty strong point as far as, what, who was our leader on the day coming in? Oh, goodness gracious. Let me see if I can even get to it. Because my, my scoreboard is all scramble McCrambled. Doe has 30 points on the season. I think Doe may be the overall leader at the moment. With 30 points, does that sound right? It could be, yeah. 31, 31. Actually, to Mots. Oh, to Mots. How about that? Wow, so the, the mods have taken over the leaderboard. Yeah, you know, I it, used to, it used to go the other way, and now it goes this way. All right, well, we've got Eyeball Energy on the board for M Bug. We have the Yan Mask, the Spinda, the Tinka Tink, the Tandem Mouse, the Slitherwing again, Ferrothorn, Curse Duster, Rourke, Gligar, and just the Volcanian to score for M Bug wow. to bring their total to 10 on the season. So just a single point out of that one for Old. Lamb bug. Yup. Bug. All right. Next up, we've got Xander. Xander. We've got three points so far. This is really where you got to hit your groove. You know, if you're playing the long, if you're playing all three, we're in the, we're in pack number two now for everyone. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're about we're, we're settle in. We're hoping to see some people really just start to skyrocket out of nowhere. I know. I feel like we have yet to have like a like a ginormous hit. I know, but like they could be in here. It could be in here. So the Absolutely. Golbat the will score. Scores. The Larry won't, which as it shouldn't. I, mean, I know. Larry. Okay. Larry. The Yabask. Actually, my good friend uh, Hillary. I, I call her Larry all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. The Sir Skit. Uh, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. The Orthworm. Big Steve's fave. Uh, Professor Turo's scenario. <laughs> I, I almost read scenery on that one. <laughs> Professor the, Turo's scenery, and it's scenery. just his body. He's yeah. like, enjoy hey, the hey, scenery. Hey, hey. Uh, the Fancier will not score. The Countercatcher will not score. And the Ting Lu will score just Ting a single Lu, just point. Two so just points. two points there for Xander. Xander. Skating along there at five points on the season. Really going to need something big in pack number three We're looking uh, in out. January. We're looking out. All right, oh man, Ben, here we go. Speaking of the mods, we have now got Dakota on the board. Now, unlike um, Dakota's mod friends, Doe and Mots, Dakota has a single point just, for just 16 one. cents. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they're attacking both ends of the board. By the way, we should probably mention, when we talk about the mods, we are speaking, of course, of our Discord server. Yeah. So if you are a Box Bakers, Breakers patron, you are already gaining access to it. Um, so if you ever feel like going and interacting with some of the Super Carlin Brothers community, you can do so. Yes, you can. All right, let's see. So Already, Dakota's gonna get more than a point out of this pack because okay, they've got go. the Furloin, Ferrisseed, the Gibble, the Iron Bundle, the Glide score, the Future Booster, the Gold Bat will score, the Simi Sage will not, and the Zekrom will so score. Just three points. Three for points Dakota for Dakota. There. Kind of, kind of disappointing because it brings their total to four, which after really the one, just pretty low. But it's not going to be like a bottom of the chart kind of points. One of these days, we'll, we'll pull something great for Dakota. One day, one, one day. day. Yeah. All right, next up we have Gil Druin coming in uh, off one pack with eight points, so already like double Dakota score, yep, sorry. Yeah, all right, so let's see what we can do for Gil Druin. Yep. So eight points, pretty solid. It's a good first pack. Good first pack indeed. Yeah, puts you in a, puts you in a nice position. Let's see how they do uh, after pack two though. All right. Can we get a nice big pull here? Like no, the eyeball no multiplier. Yep, nothing yet. The Man's Hike, the Gabite, the Minun, the Dew Blade, the Mila, the Minior, the Denozo, the Onyx will not score, the Whimsor will not score, and, and the, the Chi-Yu. Wow, just a single point. So sorry, Gil Drew, and I thought we were going to at least break 10 points for you, but I was wrong. Just sorely, sorely mistaken. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry yeah. about that. All right, well, let's see. Moving on, we have got Dom. Dom! Of, of course, Fast and the Furious. Yeah, it has to be said. Yeah, I feel like we yeah. can't not bring it up. Right. right At this point in time, it's basically like their claim to fame. Right. Similar to Dominic Toretto's claim to fame yeah. in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Exactly. Because they're the same person. The same person. 
Bam, but they don't have the type advantage. No type advantage for anyone just yet today. Dwebble, the Wismer, the Dublade, Surskit, Orbeetle, Cloth, the Orbeetle, the Joltzig, the Vanilla. Were there two Orbeetles? Oh. No. No? No. no. Oh, Orthworm Orbeetle. Orthworm oh, Orbeetle. There. Okay. Vanillux, and the Morpeka will actually score twice because it is the dark type. Oh, good catch there. Okay, so there yeah. There you go. Uh, so that's just going to bring Dom up to two points. That's a two-point pack back-to-back. Two-point pack back-to-back. -back. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to bring their total to four. They're sitting there with the coda. There we go. Okay, okay. Starting to see a, a, a four-point feud. Mm-hmm. A four-point feud indeed. Fuming. Next up, we've got Jacob C. Jacob C. Also down there at two points. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can't expand we, the pack we of the fours. Pulled our first EX card of the of the box. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe, Maybe this it's will coming. Be it. This could be it. All right. So another another back metal back energy. Metal wow, energy. Okay, we got the Whimsor, the Flamigo, the Porygon, the Cedra. The, oh, that oh, one actually. Yeah, scored. Yeah, the first man shall. The Rika, the Gorg Gorgeist, the Spindo will not score. The Vanillite will not score. And the Zacian will, will just so. a single point. So. Man, so look at that. Another two point pack back to back for, for Jacob C. Jacob C. Two Let's points. See. Next up, we've got Rob Rangoon. Rob Rangoon, man. I had crab rangoons earlier this week. Yeah? Oh, they were delicious. Man, that yeah, sounds super, really good. Super tasty. Did you, wait, where did you go for ra for crab rangoon? Are you asking us that we went to your Because son's? Yeah, yeah. We, we went, I went to an Asian restaurant with you earlier this week, and I don't remember you getting the crab rangoon. Okay, so maybe I had maybe I had Asian takeout twice this week. Okay, okay. Amazing. Oh, look at this Rob Rangoon. Hits the type advantage. Here what? we go. Two in one week, just like that. Oh, and the Blitzel, perhaps a good omen for the pack. It's the only good card we've Pulled all day. The Phoebus, the Semi Sage, the Norm, Cyclozar, Tinka, Tough, the Luxurious Cape, and the Zatu. The I'm Zatu, afraid it's Zatu. only a two point pack after the type advantage. Man, what a bummer. That is not what you want to see when you Man. have the cards stacked in your favor for old nope. Rabrang dude there. So just two points on the pack. Sorry. About Better that, luck Rob. next time. Man. All right. Next up, we've got Lady Starlight. Lady Starlight. Coming in with two points as well. A lot of people landed at two points. After round one, you know I've been here. I've been watching a lot of uh, of Gilded Age, so yeah. Lady Starlight feels like it could be like one of the members of society or it something does, like that. It does kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got the Fireball Energy, the Mill Tank, the Wimpod, the Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Veluza, the Technical Machine Blindside. I just some of these are just ridiculous. <laughs> the Crocolore, the Remoraid, will not score. Oh, oh, look at that, the Vanillish. Now that is a cool that, freaking car. That's so fun. It's I, like a little ice cream cone. I love it. There we go. Okay, and the Grudon. So let's see, how does the Vanillish score for us? Is let's it our see. best card of the day? We're about to find out. Four dollars seventy cents. So it so, is indeed. So yep. round up to five. So six Plus points. The Grudon is six points. That's going to bring Lady Starlight to eight on the season. Not too shabby. Plus, you get this Vanillish, which is just awesome. I don't think we've pulled this one in-house yet, and I love it. Yeah, that one, is, that's a really gorgeous card. I love, I like, the more wackadoo they want to go with the, the Illustrator Rares, the better, in my personal opinion. I know, I'm like, oh man, the, the season, of, there's a new set coming out in January, which is another collector set, so I think the February season will also be a single season, uh, single pack season. Single pack season, yeah. But oh yeah. my gosh, they've started releasing some of the artwork from it, and it is bonkers. Yeah, the Charizard is, from it is, yeah. like, unbelievable. It's like, so cool. The goal of all of us here at Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ, to pull that Charizard. Yeah, and uh, there's that. And then we never pulled the uh, the Illustrator Rare Iono uh, a couple right. seasons ago, You're but right. there's another new Iono to pull in February. Because so. why not? Why, because not? why not? They're like, hey, all those cards, let's do it again. Run it back. Run it back. All right, next up, Ben, this is Kyle McCoon, a rookie. No coming way. Coming in here, and uh, this is a noteworthy uh, pack because there's only one rookie in the field all month. So and it's Kyle, so it's they're gonna buy default win the Olive Garden gift card. Way to go to Kyle. Yeah, yeah, let's see. But can they also run to the top of the leaderboard? I'd love to see it. Magby, Flamigo, Porygon, Oricorio, Absol, Simisir, Crobat, the Tandem Mouse. Oh! Whoa! They might, Ben, because that is the Illustrator Rare Iron Hands EX, possibly the most anticipated card out of the set. Dang! Competitive-wise, anyway. That's amazing. We pulled this one in office, haven't we? We have pulled this one in office. That's an amazing Ooh. pull, and there's a Brute Bot. Uh-oh. Did they, did they go to the top of the leaderboard? I believe they did. Oh, indeed. no! What a time to sign up for Rookie. Hang on, let's see here. Let me double check. Iron Hands EX is going to be worth number 248 on the set. $35.61. Oh, so 36, 37, 38. 
39, 40 points! 40 points. So let's 40 just go ahead and points. assume that even if Kyle wasn't standing alone as the rookie of the month, that Kyle would have had it. Very impressive. There you Welcome go. Welcome to the conversation, There's Kyle. There's your gift card as well. Impressive. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that iron hands up for you because that's an amazing pull. Yeah. Well done. Before any of us we even breathes on it. Goodness me. We haven't seen a pull like that since maybe Brooke. It's been a minute. Has it? Was that, minute. was that it? No. Someone who was contesting Brooke. Right? I, Jess? I, maybe. I, is it? Is it the case that we haven't had a pull worth more than 30 in that long? Well, no, I mean just that Brooke, I, we had someone else's first pack. Oh, the rookie, the rookie. Yeah. I think, yes, Brooke or someone contesting Brooke was somebody who, yes, threw yeah, down. Yeah, just threw down a gauntlet. massive yeah. number right on their first pack ever. So this is why it's always, always worth checking to see if you can sign up because you never know when you're going to be the next best rookie to play the game. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Oh Matt Cox gosh. is up next. Speaking uh, on the opposite end of things, Matt Cox might be in dead last this season after opening up a single point eight cent pack. All right, so we're in hoping, round one. So we're, we're hoping single for, point for sheer nothingness. Sheer nothingness. Matt Cox. And with the dark energy as the type advantage. Oh no! And there it is. There it is. There it is. Not what Matt wanted to see, but maybe we'll go big. Maybe the there'll be two the giant light. packs back to Four back. Choreo, the Swablu, the Professor Seda's Vitality, mm -hmm. the Tatsugiri, the Dundozo, the Mine Fu. Yep. The Mine In will not score. Oh, oh my no, goodness! It's just gracious. disaster for Matt. Pulling the type advantage, which is the only reason they're getting two points. They what? But what is a Kingdra worth? Let's just let's just add insult to injury. I know here. it's a front page or thirteen cents. Oh so just man, thirteen cents would have been abysmal. really would have been a great low bottom score for Matt. And said they trip on the type advantage. It, That's a rare, very rare to see that. It is. It's not over. It's not over. It's still a pretty bad score. So that yeah. could work in your favor. You could get last place. Yet to see. Yet to see. Gosh. Next up we have 1909 Graz fan. All right. Let's see. Here we here. go. Only uh, Graz's third pack ever. And okay. their best pack to date is just three points. So okay. hopefully they can do a little better so than we're, that. So we're going for a personal record. A P. A PR. Yeah. yeah, let's see. A pop pan sage, gabite, toad scroll, slither wing, technical machine, technical machine. The Jirachi. The Rachi will not score. That's a common Jirachi. Okay. And the Goliathopod, which I oh God, it looks like bulk EX if it I ever does. saw it. Number 50 on the set. We'll double check for safety as we always do. Number 50 is 66 cents. Uh, so just a single point. Single point for 1909 Grass Man. But you do get this Goliathopod. We'll sleeve it up, send it to you. So still still hasn't, I mean, did not, not record breaking like we were hoping for. Almost. Nope. It felt like it could be. It had the essence of Not their day. Of, Maybe next time. That's type of pull. We'll see though. Now we've got Reagan. Reagan. Coming in. They've also, so Reagan also kind of going for that last place. They've got one point and 20 cents. Okay, okay. So this is like, you know, across three packs, I feel like getting just three points. Yeah, difficult to do. Pretty darn low. So let's see. So we got the, the fighting energy, which works in your favor. The Toad School, the Toxel, the Spinda, the Nimble, mm -hmm. the Technical Machine Evolution, the Vanillux, the Defiance like Vest. what I'm seeing. Oh no. Oh no. The Goliathopod yeah. is rare. That's that gonna will score. score. Tinka Tink will not score. And the, the Porygon Z, Z which oh. I'm pretty sure, is this the one that is like the ridiculously low value? I can't. I, I think I'm, it is. You're right. Oh no, is this Goliathopod? Let's just see. tripping them up. It is. It's yeah. the five cent Porygon. It's the no. five cent Porygon. So that's two points were for, a, for Reagan. Wow, two last placers are really both tripped there on the last card. But nearly. you know what? That also means it could be just pretty much anybody's game at this point. Yeah, so. plenty of other single point players left for the um, last place award. Next up, we have got Alicia May. Alicia May. Or she may not. Oh, I get it. I get it. I think I think this is uh, of Aunt May fame. Of Aunt May yeah, fame. Yeah, this yeah. is this is in the multiverse where where Spider Man is in fact Aunt May. Yes. Which is a, a verse I would actually very much. That want sounds to like see. a really fun one. Yeah. There's got to be one of those in across the Spider Verse. It has right? to be. Toad School, Vanilla, Charcadet, Swablu, Rourke, Steeny, Semipore. Oh. Swablu, critical hit. Critical hit, there we Boom. go. Okay, we'll take that. The A Palm and the Deoxys. It's just, man, just, just a two, two point points pack. Again. again. Our first critical hit of the day, but it doesn't yield very much. Man. Brings Alicia, May, Parker, Spider Man to seven points on the season. Seven points on the season. Well, there we go. We'll see how Alicia May is able to do in the final pack of the season next month. That we will. Next up is Heather Lynn. All right, let's see here. Heather. Got what four do we points. 
What do we have for you? And man, it's gonna be hard to beat that Iron Hands. That was a pretty good pull. It's a, pretty, it's a stout pull for yeah. sure. All right, so we got the Salad Energy, the Pantsier, the Nicket. Scores. Oh, that's it, yep, yeah. I'm so sorry, good save. The Gligar, the Blypug, Blipug. Blipug. The Tulip, the Valooza, the Chantal. Oh. The Rika will not score, the Wochien will oh, score. Oh, oh and the, the Sandy, Sandy Shocks. Shocks. It looks a little bulky, but let's see. <laughs> it kinda Number, does, kinda number, does. Number 108 on the set, 59 cents. Oh, yep, man. A single point there. So, so there's gonna be a three point pack total for Heather Lynn. Yep, four point packs back to back for Heather Lynn. All right, next up we've got Anthony, who I want to say is, yes, Doe, who is presently sitting in, what, third place? So yeah, least, yeah, third place, I believe, at the third moment. Third place, this is uh, her older son. Yes, that's correct. Sitting that's at the correct. top there, let's see. Only got two points on the season, so hoping to catch up and, uh, you know, overtake his mom. Let's see if we can do it. We've got the water energy, so no type advantage. Mining in the Dewblade, the Wimpod, the Explow, the Mela, the Minior, the Yvelta will score. Oh, it's actually going to score twice because it's rare. Okay, the there Horsey we go. The Horsey and the well, Feeble will score so, twice. So four points. So four points. Kind of a miraculous four points, yeah. if anything. So well done to Anthony. A weird way to take advantage of the type advantage today. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But enjoy enjoy those those two dark types. Maybe start building the deck around them. Why yeah, not? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that dark deck, man. All right, actually, if you pulled this guy, the Roaring Moon, that's that, the that's, real dark that's guy. There's right, some money days. involved there. Yeah. Let's All right. See. Next up, we have got Annika. 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 Like hard, Annika. All right, Annika. <clears throat> try to try to work some magic for you here. If I can oh. get your pack out. Only two points so far for Annika. Okay, so we got the Eyeball Energy. Yep. I love to see that. The Ella Kid, the Vanillish, the Onyx, the Tinka Tink, the Durant Durant, the Technical Machine, the Wug Trio, the Tinka Tink will not score. The Feebas will not score. The and the Melodic. So just just one point there for um, Annika. Annika, that's Man. right. Yeah. A sad point there just that, for just Annika like Harmonica. So, so three points on the season. But once again, uh. if it ends up being a four point race, that could be a last place contender. So we'll see. All right, next up we've got Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think of Sonic and Robotnik yeah. literally every single time. I know, right? I, I mean, yeah. So maybe maybe this person is known <clears throat> for having like a large, glorious, Cheeto-colored mustache. That'd be wonderful. All right, Robot Wiz. We've got Pansier, Wiglick, Gligar, Blipbug, Zebstrika, Luxurious Cape, Ambipom, Gimme Go. Oh, Wrong Knackley oh. and the Espathra. the Espathra. So just a single point for Robot Wiz. Yeah, there we go. Gonna just bring them to five point. on the season. I like how they very randomly just had the trainer on the Espathra card. It's like, okay, okay, I yeah, see sure, you. Does that do anything there. to the value? Let's see, what number is that? I'm just I'm just curious. Now. 81. 81. Occasionally when they throw trainers on there, it's like, hey, that's just extra value just because you get to see a character on, right? on screen. 15 cents. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, not really. Not really. Not really making a difference. All right, next up we've got Icy Vanilla. We don't know. Well, we already pulled the Vanilla Ush. We the, did. Oh, man. Can we yeah. Have that would have been pretty cool though if this yeah. person pulled that. I see vanilla to pull the vanilla or the vanillux, vanillux, vanillite. Those are the other ones. There we go. All right, so we got the we got the raucous pummeling energy. Mm -hmm. Got the the Fue Coco, the honed edge, right? Honed edge, one of Harry Potter's Pokemon. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, yeah. did you see that TikTok? See that Maybe. TikTok? Yeah, we got the Dwebble, the Horsey, the Gar Garboder. Yeah, that will do it. The Future Boost Energy Capsule, the Scream Tail, the Wiglet, the Crustle will not score, and the Wochi and the close so out. Just, so just two. two points. I'm gonna bring Icy Vanilla to five on the season. Bam. Well done. Well done. Still room for a giant pack in the last round. Always room. Here Always room. Never Nick count Luffy. yourself out. We got Fluffy Duck. Fluffy Duck! Going from, going from the back, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at you just... What do you think about that? Just woke up and chose chaos. Yeah. You know? You never know. So, like, this could have been the last pack today. Could have been. Now now it won't be. The last pack is just the last pack. It, it is just the last pack. But you, you could have sacrificed, sacrificed some last pack magic. I've changed everything. Well, let's find out for Fluffy Duck. We're about let's to see. Oh, oh, look at that, Fluffy Duck. You're welcome. All right, all right, all right. Here let's we see go. what we got Fantasy. here. Gaibel, Panpour, Blitzel, Norman. So far, nothing. Toad School does not score. Zekrom does score. Garboder does score. Twice. And... The Palkia. So let's see, we're gonna have one, two, three, four times two, eight. Eight points, honestly, not bad for Fluffy Duck there. Yeah, one of the um, higher scores we've got today. Gonna bring Fluffy Duck to 10 on the season. 
A solid showing. A solid showing. There you for go. Old, old Fluff McDuck. Old Fluff McDuck. As, no, I'm gonna pull as from, they're known down at the taverns. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm pulling from the back as well. Just, okay, just wow. For, just for funzy. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I mean, you made it look so cool. Jazzy J Truth are on oh, the table. Why did I do it? They why pulled, did I do it? And they pulled 14 points on the first pack. So if they can get another big one here, they're right in it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm pulling for Jazzy J Truth or too often. It I don't feels know what's, nice. I don't it know what's right. going on. We got the eyeball energy, which I do love to see. And it's one of my favorites. <laughs> We got the Pharaoh Seed, the Geibel, the Panpour, the Blitzel, the Cyclozar, the Simi Seer, the Crow Battle Score, the Geibel. Oh, does that give us a critical hit? Oh, it is going to be a big <gasps> deal because there's a gold luxurious cape in Look at here. That golden luxurious cape. Oh, and the Jazzy J Truther out. strikes again. Let's Number see. Luxurious cape. Also seeing competitive play, so it could and it's it sort of spiked up recently. So did people know it was going to be? Let's see. So it's not time. it's not tremendous. Yeah. So five dollars thirty nine cents for the luxurious cape. So, so it's six, six, seven, eight times, times two. Because we have the critical hit. Yeah. So, so 16? 16. 16. Which is going to bring them to thirty on the season, which is like well within striking range of first. That absolutely is. Honestly, that's a very impressive showing for Jazzy J Truther. Which, by the way, I am only happy for you at the end of the day. I mean, I know that you could have been a Buzzy B Truther and probably should be, but like all things mm -hmm. being equal, we're in this together. We're in this together. You know? You know? Yeah. We're on the same team. But I, that's got to be the most consistent play all season. 14, 16? I know. That's yeah. Very that's, nice. that's very impressive. At least um, highest consistently sea level anyway. All right, next up we've got Marcos, who actually, wow, Marcos is right there too. We should keep an eye on this pack because it, they are at 28 points. 28 points from Marcos. Okay, yeah. so this is another one who's absolutely in striking yeah, distance. Looking to surge ahead with just a, even just a moderately good pack. Could right. Be, could, could be right there. Could be a difference maker. All, if nothing else, it feels like Marcos is definitely in contention for quality eighth place at some point as the season right? unfolds. Toad School, Toxel, Dondozo, Veluza, Purloin will score the Octillery and oh. the Armor OGX Full oh. Art. Okay, so okay. Then, then it feels like a moderately good pack. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm, is it is it going to get them into a moderate first place? I don't think so. Let's We're gonna see. have to. That would be like a that would be a twelve point jump to get it, there. It is our second of the season. It's only three dollars fifteen cents. Okay. So four, four five. five. Okay, but that puts them into, into 33 points, which should, I think that's good for second place, maybe. So, yeah, let's see here. So 30, yeah, it's kind of hard to, based on where my scoreboard's at at the moment, it's a little, it's a little in disarray. But yeah, I think we're, we're definitely in top three. Well, my goodness, that is impressive. So we are getting into some big, heavy-hitting competitors at the moment. We that truly are. Man, I love I the hard on that one, too. Th this is almost the opposite of usual, where now I feel like we've started to pull some, like, some I interesting know. stuff. It's like, okay, oh, hopefully the there's, hopefully we got something left in here, which I, I always have to we did. Oh, but Ben, here we go. It's Doe. It's the one, the only. Here, okay. here she is. So she's at 30 points. And who did we just have go? Uh, Marco's just hit up to 33. So can Doe take the lead back? I know. And by lead, I mean second place because our rookie Kyle jumped into first place with that oh, Iron Hands play. Oh, All right. So we got the Fireball. Oh, energy. boy. We got the Char Cadet, the Flittle. The Trubbish. That's two points. That, yep. There we, two points? Right. Because oh. that's the chase card. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay, good save, good save. Okay. The Gimme Ghoul, the Techno Radar, the Steeny, the Counter Catcher, the Nimble will not score, the Blitzel will not score. Oh, oh the Norman! What oh, is man. going on? Okay, let's Crazy see. Crazy for Two, Doe! 237 on the set. Well, I think she's going to pass Marcos again because this is going to be worth at least a, one point. Yes, $2.84 wow, for so three. Wow, so three, four, five. So Doe goes up to 35, just immediately takes that spot back. Right back in it. Crazy. Way to go to Doe, who's having a great Man, season so far. Really great season. Well done to Doe. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got Below Average Gaming Dad. Oh, man, one of my all-time faves. One of my all-time faves, because I, I relate so heavily. I'm a, I'm a Below Average Gaming Dad as well. Right? I mean, aren't are we all kind of? No, not you. No, not me? You don't get to be in the Below Average category. I'm not Below Average. You are, you are at least... At uh, least average? Upper Middle Average. <laughs> at least Upper Middle Average. I'll take Upper yeah, Middle yeah, Average. Yeah. That sounds about right. Like, you know, if I could just, if I could really focus in, I could reach that professional level. Right, right, Someday. right. Oh, here we oh, okay, go! Okay. That's not Below Average. That's for... Tumble points, the Fue Coco, the Snort. Oh, I would love to see a critical hit in here, Ben. That'd be amazing. Okay, all right. The let's horsey, see the Snorlax, all the Tinkaton, the Tatsu Giri, the, the Wimpod. Score the Charcadet. Oh, the Charcadet doesn't get it there, and the oh, Latios. Oh, so just so a single sad. point for below average gaming dad. You there hate you to see it, but Jawson. Well, sorry, I think it's two points. Oh, two points. Good save. Good yep. save, man. I almost just cost you a point there, below average Jeez. gaming dad, despite my. 
total allegiance to your position. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for playing either which way. Hopefully, we'll close out the season real strong for for below average gaming dad, or as I like to call it, bagged. <laughs> bagged. Next up, we have Methy. Methy. And she is at four points on the season. Let's see, from Denmark collects Lego. And her favorite of the Harry Potter sets. Okay, so, okay. Very, very we have favorites. had the original Hogwarts castle here at the office with us for just a long forever time. Forever now, since like 2018, I believe. We gotta build it at some we point. We do, we really do. My son is getting really into Harry Potter at the moment. Vanilla-ish, Crocolore, Evolution, oh. No, Vanillux oh, and Vanilla. So close. Okay, Absol will score. Oh, oh, look at that Slank Lazar! Oh, I do. This is a that neat is so card. so cool. Man, what a great box we're having oh, today. and the low kicks there as well. This is a great, great box. All right, let's see. Okay, we have let's had the cycle so I, yeah. I, I did not actually remember pulling that so far, so that's impressive. Uh, Two dollars ninety-five cents. So, so three, three, four, five, six, six points. There okay. we go. Pretty solid. That brings um, Methy up to ten. Ten. That feels like solid. I can't remember where Big Steve is at this season. Oh yeah, season. where is Big Steve look. today? Let's take a quick look at Big Steve's at nineteen. Nineteen. So I feel good feelings Striking for that being a, distance. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, we need to also be able to look out for anyone landing around that twenty-point spot. Yes, we do which indeed. Yep. Hard to know until we get into the third pack, but. Okay, oh, everyone's favorite father-son duo, Monkey Bacon, is back. There we go, Monkey Bacon! Monkey Bacon, who has two points on the season. So, father and son splitting those points. All let's see right, if we can get a more it. to split here. We got the Teardrop Energy, the Doltic, the Loudred, the Remoraid, the Punkaboo. Is it? Punkaboo. Punkaboo. Yeah. Iron Bundle, the the Ferrothorn, the Cursed Duster. Oh, is this a double? Nope, no. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's a critical, critical hit. hit. Critical hit. There we go. On that one, oh, the, the Parasol, Parasol Lady, Lady and the Chimpo. Oh, no. It's still just two points. From ah! Monkey Bacon taking home two points on the day. Oh, two point man. pack back to back. Two point back, back to back. Let's see. There Monkey we go. Bacon but they got seed. that critical hit. That's fun. And the Chimpo. All right, all right. Not two shabs. I know you guys, yeah. You can both have one of those Loudreds. There you go. That's right. Split the Loudred. All right, next up is Omega. Omega. I'm pulling from the back again. Omega's known to be a contender. I believe a season two champion once upon a time. Yep, um, way back in the day. Way back in the day with 58 points. So I we're looking- solid finishes too. 10, 21, 13, so known to put up big numbers. Got the fire energy, the Trubbish, Trubbish right there. That's twice, gonna be two yep. points. Give me gold, Wiglet, Jirachi, Wug Trio, Techno Radar, the Steamy, the Vanillish, the Mantike, and oh, the, the Bombardier, Bombardier okay. which Looks a little bulky, Xy, but let's does, see for does. sure. 156 on the set. Yes, I believe Bombardier in game is like also dark type, but this one is colorless, so oh, don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so just gonna be worth a single point on that Man, one. So three so, points. So the Trubbis is actually worth more. It is indeed. <laughs> How about funny. that for Omega? So three points, five points on the season. But if there we know we anything about Omega, they'll be they'll, they'll be just coming out gunslinging. That's right. That's right. Uh, Keep buns glazing, as we like to say. Buns glazing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next up, I can't believe we have not pulled a single Roaring Moon. I think this whole season. The whole season. Yeah, that's the whole so season. wild. None whatsoever. All right, let's see. Next up, we have Hannah. Hannah. Oh, I always think Hannah. of uh, yes, that scene in Toy yes. Story. Yep. <laughs> All right, Hannah's got three points. Can we improve? All right, let's see what we can do. We'll set the code card aside. We got our steel, our metal type energy. I can never remember the Wiglet, the Jirachi, the Nackley, oh, wrong the Nackley. wrong Nackley, the Parasol Lady, Absol the Absol scores. Will score. Good save. The Masquerade, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Pharaoh Seed will not score. Something peeking out back the there. The Low Kicks will score will twice, and, and the Frost, the frost last. last. Boom! All right. All right. Let's see. Number three on the set. That's gonna be easy because it's a front pager. Seventy-seven cents. So uh, it's still just a single point. So, so one, one, two, two three, three, four. Four points Four for points. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. I feel like I've had to sleeve a lot of cards today. Like, I know, I know. It's they haven't been... all been like crazy, but this, like, if you just bought this box, you'd have had so many hits. I know, yeah, this would have been a great one. Yeah. Definitely walking away with some, some good, good Plus quality. Plus the gold it. luxurious cape and the iron hands. Right, which right. Is like, those are such good cards. All right, let's see. Uh, next up we have Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan. Let's see, what can we do? Joe Cathan also has two points. Oh, Joe is the one who uses the Pokemon cards as prizes for her students because she's a teacher. Oh, very cool. I bet that makes you extremely popular with the right? kids. Very cool. Very cool. All right, Lightning Energy for Joe Cathan. Joltik, Nachu, Remore, Pumpkaboo, Earth and Vessel, Medical Energy, Iron Bundle, the Porygon, the Wimpot, and the Goliathopod. So just a single just point a single on that point one. For Joe Cathan, unfortunately. But I like to think that Joe Cathan watches the episode with her students, and yeah. so so hi it's Joe like, Cathan. Like once a month, she's like, I'm in this one, guys. We're gonna watch and we're, see how we're, I did. We're, we're, we're this watching. is class today. Miss Cathan. Miss Cathan. Miss Cathan. Yeah, exactly. 
everybody for don't forget to ask for extra credit today. Exactly. There we go. All right, next up is Sydney. Sydney. Okay, let's see what Sydney can do. How Sydney do it coming into the day? They've got five points right now. Five points of the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, Sydney has been collecting since she was like six or seven years old. So she has been, she's got, she's got quite a collection to go in now. All right, we've got the Zubat, which will score, the Natu, the, the Purloin will score, the Mindfu, the Orb Beetle, the Cloth, the Luxurious Cape, Standard mm -hmm. Edition, the yeah. Yamask will not score, the Miltank will not score, and Ooh, the Iron, Iron Jugulus. So one, two, three points, right? There you go, yep, For three Sydney. points. For the Jugulus there. Bam. I like Iron Jugulus as a Pokemon. I wish the card was just a little better. I feel like they're gonna print a good one at some point. One day. Like when, when Iron Jugulus EX hits the game, it's like that one's gonna be good, right? It makes me wonder, like whenever they do the cool illustrator arts, if they're just like pulling out like a name out of a hat, and they're sort of like, hey, let's do something fun for this one. Or if like the Pokemon company is sort of like, we don't really care about the Pokemon. So, like, you know, <laughs> we're not like, we're not invested. Like if at like the start of our quarter, they're like, all right guys, we're really building up Haunter right now. So like Haunter's yeah. gonna be getting like a whole bunch it's of- It's so hard to tell, because there are definitely ones where they're like Charizard, Pikachu, like certain ones, like they will always do it up for and then other yes. times it'll be like like Psyduck always gets a lot of love out there of sometimes course. it'll be like yeah completely random Pokemon like why why did they go so hard on, this, on one. this one yeah I don't understand not that I'm complaining I like that I like it when random Pokemon get lots of love of course of course yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, Moss Moss Wig. Wig. that February season there's a shiny Scyther card in it so. no way yeah. about yeah. darn time honestly yeah, it, it blows my mind like a Scyther like I always felt like you like you picked such a cool Pokemon when we were kids mm -hmm. to be your favorite and I was just sort of like, okay, Jay, you get to like pick the cool one, whatever. <laughs> like, you can have it, whatever. I'll take Firo. Um, <laughs> there's nothing else cool to pick, apparently. Yeah, yeah no um, other cool Pokemon in Gen 1. No other, yeah. <laughs> um, not true. But either which way, it does amaze me that it doesn't get more love. I uh, know. Well, I mean, it's gotten, oh, I mean, it, it got the um, Scizor evolution right there in Gen 2, which was cool. And then Scizor has a mega evolution. And then it also got the Cleavor evolution. So okay. not okay. nothing's happened for Scyther right. over the years. More than, more, more than, than Firo. More than, in Parasect. Yeah, more like the two of the like like six Pokemon from Gen 1 who've had no special treatment so far. Wow. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. There we go. So we got the Porygon 2, we got the Octillery, the Golbat. Gold Whoops! Oh, here we go. The Golbat will score. The Larry, the Orthworm, the Professor Turo scenario. Oh, the Mianchao will score. The Mianchao will score. Good save. I would have missed it. The Palkia uh, will score. The Honed Edge will not score. And the, the Steelix, Steelix will. So, so one, two, three, four. Times two. Is eight. Eight points. There eight you points go. Eight points for Mostwig. Mostwig. Although Mostwig was someone who was sitting at single points, so they've just sort of crushed their own last place dreams. They did indeed, but you That's know, like... the second time today a last placer has been thwarted by the... I know, yeah, edge. what's going on with that? But, like, I, I, this is the type of thing where all you need to do going into <laughs> next week is, you know, I mean, aim for that 20 mark and there you you walk go. away with the big Steve Award. It'll be great! Totally fine. All right, next up we've got Jesse, who is, okay, another last placer. Can someone go back-to-back... Uh, packs with a single point. It has not happened yet. It hasn't happened. All right, so Jesse, let's see something just just terrible. We want that Porygon Z. Porygon right Z. Now, yeah. Nothing else. They've got twelve. All they have is twelve cents. So it's very low numbers right now. They did, they have like a bad one point pack. So that's okay. what we want to see. We okay. want no dark Pokemon, no chase cards. Yep. Okay. So, so far, nothing. Yes. So far, good. We're doing good. The Defiance Fest. Fest. Nothing. Durant. Durant. No problem. There we go. The Snoron. Bad. The Light. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Oh, the last two. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, let's uh, check number so 100 on the set. Just and the safety. thing is, Toxtricity is going to be like a bulky X or two. It is. 60 yeah. cents. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a two-point two back. Oh, no. But at this point, no. nobody, nobody is pulling off what last yeah. place usually needs to do in order to win, which is right. which is one one one. So so one two is still, I think, the best show we've had so far for last place as far okay. as people who've opened two packs. All, All right, right, let's Here see. We go. We've only got two people left today. Next up, we've got Jackinator and Dakinator. Jack and Dak. Oh man, they did really well the first pack. They did 20 points. That looks okay. like, that, that feels like very good. Well, first of all, Big Steve, well, probably uh, yeah, not gonna they're be... probably gonna push themselves out of Big Steve. Well, yeah, team. I guess if they only get one, maybe they still float around there in case like no one lands in the gap. Right, right, okay. Okay, that's a good yep. point. Yep. Never so know, but also feels like good eighth place energy. Right, for yes, and yeah, and eighth, eighth place really yeah. seems like the spot. Yeah, so we got the, uh, the Yamas, the Surskit, the Whimsor, the Flamigo, the Rika, the Gorgeist, Gorgeist, 
the Professor Status Vitality, the Dotler will not score, the Norman will not score, and, and the Zekrom. Zek so there you go, so, just one point. Just one point, so yeah, overall, uh, for Jack and Dak, they're uh, are still probably in decent contention for Big Steve. They're at 21, if, if someone else are just seem to land right at 20. Yes, And of course, exactly. they'll open another pack themselves. Right, yes, that's true, yeah. that's true too. All right, okay. last pack, Magic Ben, it's Afro Punk. Afro Punk. Afro Punk, who has 10 points coming into the day. Okay, not bad, not Pretty bad. Solid. I was predicting five. Think five, five points? I, I'm thinking five points. Five points, last yeah. pack magic. Let's see. Can we get something crazy in here? Bump a da bum. All right, there's the there's the Zubat. Okay. Okay. Oh, the yep, Perloin. Five okay. points sounding pretty good, Ben. And show glass score, Simi Sage, Professor Sada, Toad School, and the Garnacles oh, are three, three points. Three points for Afro Punk. As it were. I was close. I was close. You know. 13 on the day. Man, what a great box today, though. It's Seriously like, good it's, box. The it's Iron a, Hands EX was awesome. What it, a good play. And on a rookie. I know, I know. So, yeah, <sighs> super exciting for our rookie of the day. Who? <clears throat> hang on a second. Let me grab the name again because I know I've got here. Kyle, well done to our rookie of the day, possibly month. Possibly for, month, yeah. For just coming in and, and absolutely taking over the top of the leaderboard as well. So an, an excellent showing, but then we also saw some of our other big contenders do some cool stuff as well today. Uh, I feel like really as we press forward, that, that race for eighth place and the Big Steve Award is going to be getting super hot real fast. Mm -hmm. Nobody was able to successfully do back-to-back -back one-point packs, which That's is right. also so incredibly last interesting. place still wide open. Yes. We have three um, more boxes this month for the second pack, so we'll see how that shakes out. Yes, as ever, guys, if you might be interested in seeing Jay and I open a pack for you here on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. Yes, thank you so much for all of your support. We love doing this game. Whenever we're recording this episode, it's like, oh, is it a Box Breakers it's day? It's a Box Breakers Let's day. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, it's so much fun. But guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!